is Grace and today I am going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is God's Amazing Promise. Wait a minute. Oh. <laughs> today I will read Abraham's Speak Test. Abraham and Isaac. Let's read. God promised Abraham a son of, oh sorry, son, and from that son, many descendants, who blessed the whole world. But Abraham and his wife Sarah was too old to have a children. So, God has promised Abraham that he will give a son, and from that son he will have more the dance than the star and that the dance will bless the whole world but like Sarah and he was very old to have a baby Twenty years went by. Still, Abraham trusted God. God's promise. He was ten, oh sorry, hundred years old, and Sarah was ninety. God reminded them of his promise. Sarah was going to have a baby. So, twenty years by, like still, but. Like Abraham was trusting God, and like when he was hundred years old, and Sarah was nineteen. Sarah like whispered, "He have was going to have a baby." Wow, like Sarah is ninety years old, but he has a baby. She has a baby. We found the Bible. Thank goodness. When their son was born, Sarah was so joyful that she laughed. God has brought me a laughter, she said. So many, so they named her, their son Isaac, which means he laughs. So <coughs> when they his. Son was born, like Sarah was so happy. So he was, he laughed. So they named him Isaac. It means he laughs. Question: God promised Abraham son a son whose descendants would. Be bless the whole world. True. And also, Abraham believed. So, <clears throat> when Isaac was a boy, God test Abraham by telling him to take Isaac on the mount to mount Mori and kill him. As a sacrifice, God said, Abraham was confused, but still, he trusted God. So, like one day, God was saying, like, sacrifice Isaac on the altar. <laughs> like when he was hundred years old, he have finally have got the baby. But like God was saying, like sacrifice him. So like he was confused, but still he obeyed God. Trust God. <laughs> Isaac carried the wood, and Abraham held the knife and torch together. 
they climbed up the mountain. Where is the lamb for the sacrifice? He asked Isaac. God will pro prove it, Abraham replied. So <coughs> Abraham really, really loved Isaac. But he had to sacrifice. So they were going up the mountain. And Isaac asked why there is no lamb for the sacrifice. Like, and he said, God will prove. Why? <laughs> like you can see he is very sad but Isaac doesn't know anything Abraham arranged the wood on the altar tied up Isaac <coughs> and laid him on the wood he, as he raised the knife to kill Isaac, an angel called his name Abraham. Abraham arranged so like he tied up and put Isaac on the altar. That will be very hard because like he loves Isaac. Like he have to kill Isaac if he are going to make him as a sacrifice. So when he was holding a knife, God said, Stop! <laughs> Question! <coughs> what did God tell Abraham to kill? Is a sacrifice number two. <coughs> Don't hurt the boy. The angel cried, God news. You trust him. Trust his promise. Look there in the bush. A lamb is cut by the its horn. Sacrifice that instead. So like angel said, don't hurt, hurt the boy. So yeah, and like God said, sacrifice that goat instead. Isaac. Look. We should trust God, but that was a very hard thing, I think. So Abraham sacrificed the ram instead of his son. He called the place God will provide. Because God provide the sacrifice, just God has said. His promise came true. So like he was going to sacrifice Isaac and obey God. But like God said don't so like he yeah, have not sacrificed Isaac and sacrifice the ram instead. We also should like obey God. Question that Abraham believed God would really keep his promise? Yes. Yes, today I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy? The next time I will read another good story. Then let's see you next time. Bye!